Hey everybody, this is Steve. Well, this is step three in my process of home developing film. Um, I generally just develop my film in a spare bathroom that I have. Um, all I really need is water and some equipment. Let me show you what equipment you need for home development. Um, I use two um, graded uh, measuring uh, cups uh, for measuring the chemicals in water. Um, you're going to need a funnel, you're going to need a stirrer to stir your chemicals in your water, you need a reliable thermometer, you need of course your developing tank with the film already loaded in it, you need your developer and tonight I'm using x -Tol. which I've already mixed up previously. Um, I've got it in an accordion bottle so that I can push all the air out. You need fixer and you need stop bath. You don't actually don't need stop bath. You can just use cold water, but I use it because it's so inexpensive. So again, I'm going to be developing two rolls of Arista EDU, one plus one um, in Extol, and for nine minutes. So what I do first is determine how much chemistry I'm going to need. And because I've got two rolls in this Patterson tank, each roll on the bottom says that I need 290 milliliters. So uh, for two rolls, I'm going to use 600 milliliters, which is what I generally do. And because that's one for one, then what I need is 300 milliliters of Extol and 300 millimeters or milliliters of water. So what I'll do is I'll take the small measuring cup and measure out 300 milliliters of x -tol. And this x -tol is fresh. I just mixed it up the other day. I've already used quite a bit of it. <clears throat> so there's 300 milliliters of x -tol. All right. Now, you're supposed to be um, pretty accurate with your temperatures, but I'm generally not. Uh, this thermometer actually shows uh, the black and white, which is 68 degrees Celsius. Um, it's actually, sorry, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. And um, so I can just, I measure out the temperature of the water and I just actually just use tap water. So I get the tap water as cold as I can. And then just stick the thermometer in it to see what the temperature is. So out of the tap, the water is about 60 degrees. So I just need to warm it up a bit. And there we go, more or less 20 degrees Celsius right now. Perfect. Yep, the water's 20 degrees Celsius now. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna take my larger measuring cup and put 300 milliliters into the x -tall. So there we go. I now have 600 milliliters of approximately 20 degrees C x water, one-to-one, -one. mix it up. There we go. And then I poured in the top of the Patterson tank. One other thing I didn't mention is that I also have a timer and nine minutes. So what I do is I start by swishing it around for about five seconds, and then I tamp it down on a piece of cloth. And I tamp it down just to get the air bubbles out. And then I put the lid on the cult, I mean not the cult, but the Patterson tank, and set it aside. So what I'm gonna do is every minute um, I do four inversions of this tank and then 
knock it and to get the air bubbles out on the cloth. So this will take about nine minutes. So I am going to skip this part right now and be back with you in a second. All right, see you soon. Hey, I'm back. Um, I just got about a minute to go for the nine minute developing time. And what I wanna do is I wanna just show you how I knock the air bubbles out of it every minute. So what I do is I just have an old t-shirt um, on the sink here. And after the four inversions, I just knock it on the t-shirt like that. And the reason I do that is I've heard that that um, helps make sure that there's no air bubbles in it. Um, can't prove it, but I, that's what I do. A couple of the things is while I'm waiting is I go ahead and pre uh, pour the right amount of the next chemical, in this case, stop bath, stop bath. Again, I don't need it. I can just use cold water, but that's what I'm using. <clears throat> and what I also do is I keep a log um, in uh, for all my developing, and I actually write down how many times I've used the fixer and the stop bath um, and the date that I mix it up, because I generally try not to go more than 20 um, rolls for the fixer. Um, that varies based upon uh, the type of film, but about 20 rolls. So that is the process for developing. So I've got the nine minutes, so now I'm gonna go to the next step. And all I do is I dump out the developer. And before I put the stop bath in, I actually just put some cold water in. There's really no reason to do that, but I like to think that that uh, saves my chemicals a little bit more. And then I put in the stop bath. Again, I want to stress, it's not critical that you use stop bath. Um, this is something that just cold water will do, but I've done it since I was a little guy and I've always done it that way. So I put the stop bath in and slosh it around a little bit. And then just let it set for about a minute. So I'll be back with you in about 30 seconds. All right. Okay, one minute is up. Um, so I've gone ahead and poured out 600 milliliters of my fixer. And one other thing that I do, and this is because I've screwed up before, is that I only keep the top off of the bottle that I'm pouring the chemical into. So as you can see, even though I poured out the fixer, I keep the top on it because in the past, I have incorrectly put stop bath or fixer in the wrong bottle, which ruins your chemical. So with that, I'm just gonna dump out the, the stop bath into the bottle. And just like I did with the, before I put in the spot back, I just put a little water in just to get out any residual chemicals. And then I pour in the fixer. And the fixer and the stop bath, I don't measure the temperature. And then I'm going to put the fixer in for four minutes. Give it a quick little stir for about 10 seconds. Knock out the air bubbles. And then put the top on it. And just like the developing chemicals, I'll invert it four times every minute. So this has got about three and a half minutes to go and I'll be back with you then. All right, see you soon. Okay, I'm back. Um, all right, the fixer has been in there for about four and a half minutes. So I'm just gonna dump it back into the fixer bottle. I still have about six more rolls that I can get out of this batch of stop bath and fixer. And so now we're gonna go to the wash step. And speaking of washing, what I do do is between uh, each step, I do wash out the, the funnel and anything that I get dirty. And I just have this small little 
lab brush that I use to clean everything out. Um, one other thing is what I do is whenever I develop film, I actually put a little sticker on the developing tank that says what I have in the um, develop uh, the developing tank. And I do that because sometimes I have more than one loaded with different uh, films and I don't want to screw up. So the way I uh, wash off the film is what's called the Ilford method. And the way you do that is you fill it up once and then you just slosh it around and dump out the water. And by the way, at this point after fixing, you can actually take the lid off. Then I fill it up again. And I put the lid on it. And with the lid on it and fresh water, I invert it 10 times. Then I dump the water out and put fresh water in. And I do this two more times. I do 10, 20, 30, and 40. So actually I'm doing it three more times. So I will be back with you when I'm finished washing. Okay, I'm back. So now I've just done this, the uh, one wash, then two, inverting it 10 times, 20, 30, 40. It takes about two or three minutes. Supposedly it's a way to save water. So now the film is washed. And now the last step before I hang it up to dry is I put some photo flow in it. And again, I'm not real accurate with it. This bottle I've had for a long time, it lasts forever, is I just generally put about a half a cap full of photo flow in the tank and fill it full of water above the film. And this really does help keep um, or minimize the amount of water spots on the film as it dries. And this is, I try to, to do as minimal editing as possible on film photography. And this is one thing that really screws me up is when there's water spots. So this is now done. Uh, we've got the photo flow, we've got the film developed. Um, and so now the last step is to take it into uh, an enclosed shower that I've got and to hang it up to dry. So um, I'll take you into there. All right. That's it for now. See you.